Now let's now talk about your what your vineyard what caliber. Now this is the diagram of a vineyard caliber. You can see that it has the main scale. You can see that it also has the what the vineyard scale. Are you seeing that it has the upper jaw and the lower jaw? What are the things we can see? Number one, it has main scale. It has vineyard scale. It has the upper jaw. So number one, let's write that down in that main scale. Two, it has your vineyard. Number three, it has your upper jaw. And four, it has your what? lower jaw. And it has number five, it has a what? A thin metallic strip. So five things you can see. In the words, in a vineyard caliber, we have the word the main scale, the vineyard scale, the upper jaw, the lower jaw, and it has a word a thin metallic street. Now let's now go straight. The vineyard caliper. What are the bits? The complete series of classes, right? As far as your syllabus is concerned regarding your jam awaek. Everything has been covered in details for you in the LearnLift app. And guess what? The sweet part is that you have access to your CBT, right? You have access to your video lessons. You have access to your notes. You have access to your past questions. Everything from the beginning to the end is directly in the LearnLift app for you. So all you have to do is just mark down to Play Store or App Store and download the LearnLift app where you follow all your classes from the beginning to the end. A quick one before we move. Let's get back to class. Enjoy. What's the vinyl caliper? Three things to know about vinyl caliper. Number one, it is used to measure the external and the internal diameter of round objects. We want to measure the external and the internal diameter of round objects. We use your word, your vineyard caliper. You can see that we saw the upper jaw, we saw the lower jaw. So one is to measure internal, another is to measure what external. So when you hear which of these is to measure the external and the internal diameter of the round object, what should come to your mind? The first thing that should come to your mind is what we call your what? Your vineyard word card. Do you understand? The second thing to note here that it has two scales. What are the two scales? It has the main scale, it has the vineyard scale. What I call it, it has the main scale, it also has the what? The vineyard scale. So don't forget, main scale, vineyard scale. And number three, it has a reading accuracy of 0 0.1 millimeter or 0 0.01 centimeter. Hold on. In meter rule, you can see now, please, let's in millimeter, it has 0 0.1 millimeter. In millimeter, how many decimal? One decimal, please. But in centimeter, it is 0 0.01 centimeter. That's what? Two decimal, please. But when we discuss meter root, meter root two, we said it is 0 0.5 in millimeter and 0 0.05 in what centimeter. This one is 1 dp. This is what? 2 dp. But here it is 0 0.5. This one is 0 0.1. Are you seeing that? So what are the three things to, about, to know about your vineyard caliper? Number one, it's used to measure the external internal diameter. Number two, it has two scale, the main scale, and the vineyard scale. Number three, it has a linear accuracy of 0 0.1 millimeter or 0 0.06. Do you understand that? Now, let's take a jump question. The question says that the inner diameter of a small test tube can be measured accurately using the inner diameter of a small test tube can be measured accurately using Option A, C, micrometer screen, P of divider, meter rule, and D, say your P of linear caliper. Talk about internal diameter. What is to measure internal diameter of test tube? Of course, say your what? Your P of what? Binion caliper. Do you understand that? If you say you understand that, quickly, let's take the next question, Jam 1982, question 3. One of the following readings represents the measurement of the length of a metal rod using linear caliper. Taking the reading accuracy into consideration, which is most likely. Take it again. One of the following readings represent the measurement of the length, length of a metal rod using a vineyard caliber. Taking the readings into consideration, which of these options is zero? That's 5.16 centimeter. B says zero and uh, 5.165. C talk about 5.0. D talk about now. First and foremost, what are they keeping us? They're giving us a centimeter. Right? What the principle? We say reading accuracy in millimeter is 0 0.1 millimeter, but in centimeter it is 0 0.01 centimeter. 
So it, in millimeter, it is one decimal, but in centimeter, it is two decimal. So call me amount. First of all, in cent oh, they are giving us centimeters, so it must be in two decimal. Anyone that is not in two decimal, first place is out. Is this one in two centimeters? This one is out. This one is in one centimeter out. This one is in three centimeters out. Of course, our answer I've shown. What's our answer? The answer there is 5.16. Are you seeing that? 5.16 was centimeter. 5.16 was centimeter. And now this brings us to the end of what this class. We're in our next class, we're going to study the word the micrometer word screw gauge. Don't forget the main thing we talk about in this class, the three things you know about penal caliber and how to solve question on them. Very simple. Check which of these has the same readings. Is it how many in millimeter, how many decimal, in centimeter, how many decimal? I'll see you in the next class where we're going to take about micrometer screw. I hope you are following the class. Peace out. See you in the next class. Bye. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the LearnLift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.